is a rapper. Yeah. From here in Kenya. I can even flow for them for one second. Uh, you can flow. Akile mba azo na sema mini mlido. No kile mba no na nita mokorino. No looking back mina sema mkae rido ati shat and tag do na daini fungie tumbo. Spiritually am mimo jona beba kristo maheta bebe pisto wengina bebe visu. Wacha kunita pizo mapenzi time ya disco na screenshot ya usi kuli totu vya msi tu ati love ni ya mabusu na yo trust ni ya majuju. Wanafuga kukundu wa natamani kasu kwa tithamani ya chiriku na natamani ya zabibu. Na nisifi ya luck mina kusifi ya jambazi badilisha vazi unakaaka andazino na rufu ya chapati mini roro nita kubadilisha ya jazi wewe wewe thank you guys how are yous today I am in Nairobi a place called Karura Forest it is a very famous forest here in Nairobi a few kilometers about two 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 to three kilometers from Nairobi city center and uh, it is a very no well renowned uh, forest that uh, offers a very beautiful uh, view from Nairobi city and uh, it also makes Nairobi city a very uh, green uh, city uh, it gives me a little time so that I can take you through Karura forest of course there are no shades inside here and uh, uh, I feel I don't want to be rained on. Yes, I don't want to be rained on. Uh, just want to enjoy. I feel the weather is good, but now when the rain comes, that is how now bad things will uh, not be good, mostly on my side. Because number one, I'll not show you, I'll, I'll not be able to access some areas and because there are some places in this forest where you when it rains you are you are encouraged not to go because of the floods mostly around the waterfall and um, deep inside the forest where there is a uh, uh, rain or where there is uh, the lands lands so that uh, when it rains water will not uh, get you there and do havoc so I'm praying that it 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 uh, it will not rain. Uh, though uh, the weather looks like it will rain, but I'm really praying that it it, it never rains, or oh, it gives me that humble time for me to take this uh, to record this beautiful place and um, show you the beauty of Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. Which city have you ever met? Have you ever uh, come across a forest just uh, next to it? Uh, Nairobi is so exciting because it has so many things that makes it stand out as a best city. Actually, I think last week or five days ago, Nairobi city was, the, was voted the best city to visit in 2024 you know right now we are in 2023 but Nairobi was vo uh, was voted the best city to visit and uh, one of the unique things about Nairobi is number one uh, this forest just uh, next to it uh, another uh, thing that makes Nairobi a bit unique is the fact that it is the only it is the only city in the world with a national park Nairobi National Park so it is a very very exciting uh, city it offers everything and also know that Nairobi is very di uh, diverse it accommodates um, different kind of people it has actually when you visit Nairobi the first thing you will uh, experience or the first thing that will come across is that you will meet uh, so many uh, races we have Indians who are Kenyans we have British Kenyans we have Americans we have Arabs we have um, so many people who call Kenya their home and uh, that will go a long way in uh, telling you that uh, Nairobi or Kenya is a very very accommodative place and um, there is so much that uh, there is so much you can do here. So if you feel like Nairobi is so 
is so is uh, small eh? or uh, doesn't have what you feel like uh, it has uh, you come and uh, visit some exciting places you'll experience um, the Paris in Africa you will experience the New York in Africa you will experience the the uh, the Bangkok or the the the, the Shanghai of uh, Africa here because it has everything when it comes to food it has all the international cuisines and uh, nyamachoma so nyamachoma is roasted meat and uh, it is one of the most uh, common food here in Kenya nyamachoma and nyamachoma uh, does well or it slaps well when you take it with the ugali so ugali is a uh, is a uh, is is a uh, ugali is like uh, fufu you know fufu in nigeria or west africa ugali is a uh, corn with water so uh, it is our staple food and um it is very known it is the most common food here in kenya actually there is a funny uh, saying that uh there is a certain place or a certain region here in Kenya when you visit them and uh, they have eaten like uh, rice or even meat. Let's say rice and meat. Uh, if they have not eaten ugali that day but they have eaten anything else that is not ugali, they will tell you, hey, today we are sleeping hungry. <laughs> today we are sleeping hungry. <laughs> Not because they don't have food, it is because they don't have ugali. So it is a belief, they believe that ugali is the food for them. Eh? And uh, when they cook this other food, uh, they must mix ugali. Ugali must be there as the common denominator. So uh, Kenya is so beautiful. Now you can see the the view of this side i'm lost i'm lost i don't know where i am but i'm um, really uh, the best thing is I'm, I'm meeting so many people so i believe i'll not be lost because um i will use google map maybe if my phone now goes off that is where the problems that is where problems will start but uh, a man never get lost we discover places so today i've just come to lo to to get lost in these bushes and uh, let you experience the amazing beauty of nature sometimes i sit down and and uh, wonder how god is so um, unique in his ways how god makes things happen that uh, we have this forest with true uh, with the uh, trees with so many species of uh, plants and apart from that we have animals that dwells in these bushes and uh, they never sleep hungry they uh, they, they, they enjoy uh, they, they live life Yes, so sometimes when I am in trouble or I feel discouraged about life, I always ask myself, or I always interrogate myself and ask myself so many questions. Uh, that uh, So, uh, guys, welcome. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe to this channel. And uh, by subscribing, you will be encouraging me to continue uploading more videos that are exciting and uh, entertaining so consider subscribing i'm um, road to 3000 i'm not targeting 1000 i'm targeting 3000 please guys help me get to 3000 before uh, the month of november ends so by december date first I'm targeting to be at 3,000. So this is uh, Karura Forest. I'm seated here. I wanted to show you this side of Nairobi. 
uh, the beautiful Nairobi city with the forest, a very natural and a beautiful forest called Karura. So amazing with nature. So today I'm connecting with nature here in Karura Forest. And um, these are some of the experiences that we Nairobians experience. So sometimes if you are bored with a noisy uh, city with commotion and traffic, you just come uh, visit Karura Forest, connect with the nature, uh, hear the sounds of um, uh, animals, sounds of um, birds and crickets. Can you hear those sounds? Those are crickets. Crickets. You don't get this experience anywhere else. But you get this experience in Karura Forest. A very beautiful place. A very calm place. A hideout. A um, harmless place. Of course, it is well protected. And uh, this forest and any other forest in Kenya is managed by Kenya Forest Authority or Kenya Forest Service. So, as you can see, even in this chair, um, I don't know if it is. So, these chairs are, have been installed here by, by Kenya Forest Service. Yes. So, let's continue walking. We are lost, but we'll get ourselves. We are lost. Uh, so this is very amazing, amazing view, amazing uh, forest. Connecting with nature, connecting with nature. So let's walk along, let's walk along. I believe while I am walking on this left side, you as my viewer, you are on the right side, we are walking and we are communicating. And something funny with the technology, imagine I'm, I feel like I'm speaking, uh, I'm just talking alone, but uh, because I have huge faith that you guys are watching, you will be part of uh, uh, this walk because you will get to enjoy this video and uh, you will comment and I'm excited that uh, you will comment with positive comments, encouragement. You will also comment with uh, any other places that you would like me to go and visit and uh, shoot a video there and uh, share with you. So this is Karura Forest. This is Karura Forest, a very beautiful forest here in Kenya, uh, Africa. The best thing that God blessed us with uh, in Africa is nature and good climate. See, it rained. It rained. Yes, it rained. And um, uh, I don't know. In Africa, we don't experience... Um, do we experience seasons? Or was it... What? what? We don't experience... Uh, the winter, some uh, autumn, or um, uh, which other which other season? Winter, uh, winter, summer, autumn, and just forgotten because we don't experience. So I just forgotten. You can remind me. Uh, I believe there are four. It is because we don't experience those things here. Yes, so sometime if you're planning to come to, to visit Nairobi, uh, please just be prepared. Don't come with vests. Uh, try to add some heavy clothing uh, because sometimes it, it gets cold. Because like uh, today, right now it's a bit cold, but not so cold, maybe about uh, 20 20 degrees yes this is the this is the drainage yes you can hear the sound of 
hear the sound of uh, water and down here down here there is a river that is flowing i don't know if you can hear the sound of the water flowing so my shoe is very my shoe is so we are in karura forest guys finally we found the route or the road to the waterfall i got lost not once <laughs> so many times i can't even count but uh, finally i i have found the right route to the waterfall see uh, so many people so many people some some are taking a walk others are just here to experience nature so so it's a very beautiful place and uh, this is karura karura forest here in nairobi so we are headed to the waterfall down here i can hear the sound of water the sound of water so let me take you there let us experience this amazing view of the waterfall here in karura forest see to caves and waterfall that is the direction so we are following the direction we are going we are going this way yes wow i've been looking for this place can you hear the sound i don't know what it means what uh, the sound by water the sound that is being produced by water down here so let me take you there right now so guys we found the right way to the waterfall so right now we are headed to the waterfall this is the route we've been have been looking for see no cycling along the dog path shady path loop dogs of leash so we're headed to there so when you see that sign post or that sign tells you uh bike bicycles are not allowed no bikes we have another one there notice dogs of leash between junction 30 and get c shady or oh, sharks used shady path only thanks for your cooperation thank you um cooperating of course let me follow these as i head or i take you to the to the um, waterfall guys i'm taking you to the waterfall taking you to the waterfall taking you to the waterfall see my shoes are heavy with uh, with uh, with mud this is the route to the waterfall this is the route very sloppy very sloppy um, and you can hear the sound of water on this side amazing for the first time I've just gotten the waterfall for the first time see the beauty of trees see the beauty of trees very beautiful i suspect when it rains this place uh, is very very slippery because of the type of soil that is here mm. i think this is this loamy loamy soil wow can you hear the sound of water if you can hear the sound of water now so many people 
and um, oh, wow, 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 you can see, you can see, you can see, if you can hear the sound of water, Let's go this way. Let's go this way. See the waterfall. We are coming from this direction up. We are from up here. Now I take you to the waterfall. Wow, amazing. 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 Amazing view, guys. See the waterfall. Eh? This is just uh, two kilometers from Nairobi city. See the waterfall going that direction. Amazing. With uh, the people taking pictures there. The force that this water is uh, carrying, uh, it cannot be stopped by anything. Uh, you can see from the top. Eh? So this is one of the caves, uh, this is the cave, it looks scary, it really looks very scary um, and it, it, the design of this cave looks like um, some Asian people used to live inside here, uh, if you can see that it, it extends towards that where there is darkness where you see darkness, it is not the end of the, uh, the cave. It extends even further, but because of the darkness, you cannot, it, you cannot be able to see uh, the end of it. So it looks like a place where uh, people maybe have, been, have stayed before, have lived. Maybe the ancient people, uh, as science tells us, uh, so many years ago, it feels like uh, it has hosted people here, and uh, as you can see, uh, it is covered with stone, uh, not stone, a rock, a very giant rock, yes, so there's a big difference between this side, between this side and this, this is where this, you see, uh, the difference between darkness and light. So on this side there is light, on this side there is darkness. So definitely uh, it is because of uh, the cave. Yes. So, um, so exciting. So exciting. So exciting. So let me show you the river. I think we're going to get caves. Yo. Sorry, sorry. Let me show you the river. Uh, the beauty of the uh, river is very beautiful. It is very beautiful, very beautiful, very beautiful. I enjoy this nature. There are so many people here taking pictures. Take care. So many people taking pictures. Yes, 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 yes. I wish I had a drone. 
uh, which of course would be a challenge even to fly here because of uh, trees and uh, uh, bushes but I'm trying to see if I can be able to show you the valley from here look it's about uh, 200 300 meters from up here so deep and you can see people there are people here crossing there's a small bridge that comes from up there on the other side of the of the river and uh, here where I am I'm not still I'm not yet up there's still these stairs to climb amazing there's still these stairs to climb wow that is deeply deep deep down uh, in the valley and where are you? that is sorry that is where you you get to see the caves and the waterfall and uh, wow and remember when visiting this uh, forest there's one thing or two that you will be discouraged from carrying here they don't allow plastic so if you're carrying for example a water bottle a water uh, you just bought water you can't enter with that water unless you have um, your own plastic or your own reusable bottle to transfer the water so the mistake i made is i bought um, water just at the gate of the entrance i bought water with a drink and uh, a few meters they just they were just looking at me and they were expecting of course this guy is coming with these uh, things but he will not pass with them so i really wish they could have told me uh, or they could have asked me why i'm, bu I'm buying those uh, w uh, drinks and water uh, knowing very well that it is illegal to to to, to enter the forest without with the uh, plastics they just told me okay you can't enter with water in bottle uh, uh water in the juice uh you can't enter unless you drink it here and uh throw away throw put that plastic uh, bottle uh in a certain area there at the gate where they normally they usually collect from uh, they, they collect or i leave the water bottle the, the the water and the drink there at my own risk so i decided okay you know what i'll drink the drink i'll drink the juice and uh also water so i drank i took the juice which uh i became full to an extent where i was not even able to take water so i decided to bring to take water back uh sorry 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 let me take this call